Good morning, church. Today's devotional is on Genesis chapter 14. So, quick summary of the chapter. Lot is living in Sodom, and the kings of the area have this massive battle. In turn, Lot, along with all of his family, are taken captive. Abram hears about this, and in turn, gathers all of the young men of his household and pursues them. The endeavor is successful. Abram is able to rout his enemies and rescue Lot and all of the captives. When he returns, he's greeted by Melchizedek, who's called King of Salem and a priest of God Most High. Now, Melchizedek blesses Abraham. And following that, Abram gives him a tenth of everything. Then the king of Sodom basically offers Abram his choice of the plunder, but Abram refuses, saying that he doesn't want anyone to have said that the king of Sodom is the one who made Abram rich. Now, we always look, where is Jesus? Well, in this chapter, Jesus is seen as an example in the example of Melchizedek. The writer of Hebrews illustrates this beautifully, uh, most in chapter 7, but 6 through 8 talk mention Melchizedek. And this shows how Christ is a new priest in the order of Melchizedek, not one established by the genealogy, not through the Levitical covenant, but by a new covenant outside of that. That new covenant allows us to be whole. So Hebrews 7, 15 through 17. It is even more obvious when another priest arises resembling Melchizedek. One who has become a priest not through the legal requirement concerning physical descent, but through the power of an indestructible life. For it is attested of him, you are a priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. So Jesus is a priest not through the old Levitical covenant, but a new one outside of any of the bounds of regulations. And because of that, it is, he is able to have that once and for all lasting sacrifice that covers for our sins. Whereas the old covenant, you had always had to have continual sacrifices and priests would die and new priests would come in. Christ suffered and died once for our sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, so we could be brought near to him. I encourage you to read those chapters in Hebrews today as well as, well as the Genesis 14 and have a blessed day.